Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I have been posting over the last couple of months, Microsoft has been making some changes to Office, where as I did post about three months ago, um, the first was that they um, changed Office.com, the Office mobile app and the Office app for Windows, and that will now become the Microsoft 365 app and those changes should have uh, rolled out already but in regards to the office changes that microsoft has been making uh, two interesting developments which i just thought i'd let you know about if interested and if affected and the first is that as we can see microsoft has recently announced that it's making changes uh, to its office insider program which will now be called the microsoft 365 insider so basically um, in a nutshell what this means is that they are changing the program's name to Microsoft 365 Insider, but the changes won't affect um, Insider updates. So um, it's not going to affect the way you received any updates for Office in the Insider program. It's just the name change from Office Insider to Microsoft 365 Insider. And also in this announcement, Microsoft has also stated that they will be adding uh, the different program related web and social media accounts uh, to acquire these changes. Um, of Office Insider becoming the Microsoft 365 Insider. And um, these changes started rolling out on the 18th of January, which was yesterday in my region. And Microsoft says they will continue through to the end of March, where all the different transitions from um, Office Insider program to um, the Microsoft 365 Insider program will take place from now until the end of March. So if affected, just take note of that. And I'll also leave a link to this post in the description if you'd like a little bit more in-depth info and um, if you are in the Office Insider program. Now that's the first development and then just head into the next new development and that's regarding a recent update that Microsoft has um, made available, which is KB5021751 now. According to um, Microsoft, this update is rolling out automatically and being downloaded and installed automatically um, through Windows Update. And basically what it's doing in a nutshell is it's checking if there are any unsupported versions of, of Microsoft Office installed on your system. And basically it's then going to notify Microsoft that those unsupported versions of Office are installed. Now, um, basically the improvements and fixes, Microsoft just lists one paragraph and this is what the update is all about they say the update is intended to help microsoft identify the number of users running out of support or soon to be out of support versions of office including office 2013 office 2010 and office 2007 and they mention here yeah, this update will run one time silently without installing anything on the user's device so if you have seen that update i haven't but if you have seen that update that's what the update is doing it's basically checking if any version of microsoft office and um, that's unsupported um, um be that office 2013 as well which by the way only ends support in april as i have posted but nonetheless any um, unsupported versions of office including office 2013 if they are installed on your system and at this stage though um, microsoft doesn't say why they are basically getting this information and gathering this information with KB5021751. Um, what the update is all about other than what they say in this paragraph. So um, very unclear as to why they are gathering this information. But nonetheless, just wanted to keep you posted and informed in case you are affected. That the first is that Office Insider is now Microsoft 365 Insider. And that update now is rolling out to check if you have any unsupported versions of Office installed on your system. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.